Motorheads, glad you could join us today as we got something pretty bizarre to show you. Got this little single door muffin top called the Micro Lino. And if it sort of looks familiar, well, you're not totally nuts. You see, believe it or not, back in the 50s, BMW gave the world the Izetta. A little single cylinder spark plug with a can-do attitude and not a whole lot else. And now, well, we sort of got an electric version of it. Okay, so what is up with this thing? So it's the child of this Swiss company called Micro Mobility Systems, a company that actually got their start making kick scooters of all things. They debuted this little electric cutie at the International Geneva Motor Show all the way back in 2016. And while production was meant to start in 2021, you know, this global pandemic you may have heard of? Yeah, that with this chip shortage, well, kind of pushed everything back till just about now, actually. Yeah, so specifically, production should start off in mid-March at their facility in Torino, Italia. Yeah, that's Turin, Italy. All right, so initially they expected to build about 7,500 units a year, but they're probably gonna have to figure out how to crank those numbers up a bit because there's already 24,000 reservations for this little fella. All right, so before we get too far, let's just take a look at the numbers. Starting price-wise, we're looking at a very reasonable 14,500. That's not bad. All right, so what do you get for all that harder in cash though? So look, the horsepower numbers aren't gonna blow you away. But power really isn't the point here. Yeah, look, I know it makes 25 horsepower, which almost looks like a typo. But I guess all that power, just, it just doesn't need that much power. All right, so there's three battery options available, starting with the six kilowatt hour battery at the low end. Then you got a 10 and a half kilowatt hour battery right there in the middle. And up top, we're looking at a 14 kilowatt hour battery. Yeah, look, they're small batteries, but it's a small car. And the range numbers aren't gonna blow you away either. But then again, it's not really the point. All right, so the small battery is gonna get you about 60 miles of range. That middle battery is gonna get you about 109 miles. And that big battery, we're looking at about 143 miles. So look, on the surface, these numbers look sort of weak, but it's really not meant to be used as like, I don't know, like a regular car. This is a tiny city car. It's meant to be affordable and super easy to park. Check and check. Oh, and being a city car, it really doesn't need to be all that fast. And wouldn't you know it, this little fella is actually pretty slow. Top speed, we're talking 56 miles an hour, which gives us a theoretical zero to 60 time of like infinity, right? And a quarter mile, I mean, look, who knows? I mean, who cares about the quarter, who cares? All right, so if you think about it, because this thing is like pretty tiny and weighs like almost nothing, the range per kilowatt hour is actually pretty solid. And with small batteries, well, small batteries charge really fast. See, the Microlino can charge in four hours to full from a regular house outlet. Although, I think this is like using a European system that's on 220 rather than 110 for us in the States, which could make a difference, but still. All right, so look, we gotta talk about this door situation. Yeah, look, I know it's bizarre. That's this big door up front. It's like your only door. And look, to open it up, you need to unlock the car with the key and press this little button right below the headlight. Then the door is going to unlatch and you can slide your hand in and just kind of swing it open. Yeah, pretty simple. Then you got this hatch out back that opens up to this cargo area, which gives you about eight cubic feet of storage. So according to Microlino CMO Merlin, oh boy. Uh, Aubauter, oh my, I promise you I butchered the crap out of that. Anyways, the Microlino is gonna be available in three different styles. You got the Urban, the Dolce, and the Competition trim. So that Urban is gonna be your standard trim, which is pretty simple and basic. The Dolce trim is gonna be more your throwback vintage retro style thing with like the white roof. And then the Competition trim, which is gonna be your sort of modern and futuristic version. Now, they're all gonna be the same price, so it really kinda comes down to like whatever skin or package you're sorta of into. And it looks like there's gonna be eight colors to choose from, and they're all named after European cities. You got your Zurich Blue, Milano Red, Amsterdam Orange, Paris Mint, Vienna White, Gotham Black, London Gray, and Barcelona Brown. Barcelona Brown, I don't know. Sounds like something kind of dirty, so I'm gonna just leave that alone. Anyway, so now it doesn't appear that they've launched the configurator just yet, but I've heard that some colors are only gonna be available with certain trims. Again, we're just gonna have to wait for that configurator to go live before we do a deep dive into all the options and all the other fun stuff, right? All right, so what's the bottom line? Well, 
At the very least, it's pretty interesting. And the price is pretty great. Performance is sort of dog crap, but again, that really shouldn't matter. Range is gonna be plenty good, especially for a city car. And remember, you'll be able to charge this thing quickly just about anywhere, which makes those range limitations kind of easier to live with. Okay, styling wise, well, it's got that cute thing going on. And if you're into the whole cute thing, then you're probably gonna love it. Otherwise, you're probably just not gonna take this thing all too seriously. And like, that's fine. Like it's very much a niche EV. And for those that are looking for an affordable and tiny city car that's easy to park and plenty of fun, we well, are sort of gonna be pressed to find better. I mean, the closest competitor is probably that electric smart car, which yeah, it's a bit more capable, but then again, it's gonna be at least 10 grand more expensive. So there's also the whole issue of this thing most likely never coming to the States. What? I mean, I could be wrong here, but you know, look, things are just a little bit different here. I mean, can you imagine driving next to like a F650 super duper king mega cab kind of thing with a lift kit? Yeah, yeah, no thanks. But then again, there's scenarios where this could make a ton of sense. So look, who knows? Personally, I'd love that they brought this thing to the States. I mean, we need more small EV options here. And look, all right, maybe not quite this small, but still. Mm -hmm.